Hi yo, this is Pocky, your Design Pro. Welcome to this episode of Revit. In this episode, we are going to learn how to design a metal sheet cladding. Uh, it is the same way you can design a wood cladding. You just have to change the material. But specifically, we are going to do a metal sheet cladding. Yeah, it has been a minute since our last video, but I'm back. First off, a uh, big thanks to those of you who have been constantly sending in your suggestions of what you would like me to teach about uh, in the next episodes. I really appreciate that, uh, for that support. If you haven't already, I encourage you to drop your ideas in the comments too. Uh, that way, we can all learn and grow together. Now let us dive into today's lesson. Yeah, but before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more educative tutorials and at the same time to turn on your notification for the daily updates. So we shall come under families, we come to new. We are going to create a family. So you come to new. When you click on new, then you're going to look for metric curtain wall panel. It is right here metric curtain wall panel you click on it then you open yeah this is our interface once it opens uh, you can see the reference lines so this is where we are going to design our metal sheet cladding family so we shall come to the extrusion tool we are going to use the extrusions yeah solid extrusion so i'll click on the extrusion then i'll come and use the line tool I'll click on this so I have my first reference line here I'll want the spacing of my claddings to be at 200 so I'll change this to 100 the 200 the, that is in millimeters so I can move this I'll drag a copy so I'll come and copy it I copy this side to 200 millimeters. So I'll want the single sheet clad to have a width of 200 millimeters. So I'll come back to the line tool. I click on this. I come and have it here. You can give this 7, 70. And I stop there. I'll give the I'll give it uh, an angle of 60. Let me adjust 60 like that. Then uh, the distance to be 50. Click on that. I move this side also. And yeah, this can be also 70 as well. Then the angle, we are using 60. I escape. So I need to offset its thickness. So I'll come to the pick line tool, I click on it, then I'll give it an offset of just 5, 5 millimeters. I click on that, click on this, click on this, click on this as well. And I may need to extend this up to this reference line. I come, drag it up to there. So let me select these two, I move them. To this end I come and click to the move tool I click on it then come pick from here I move it up to that point so I'll need to close these loops by joining so I'll come to the trim extend corner tool I click on it I click on this I extend it with this this with this so I have something like this. Uh, then remember, I will need also another line here to close this loop. Yeah, but since this is going to be a continuous pattern of our cladding, so it has to join whereby we can't see any open loop. So I'll come to my lines again. I'll go with this first one, the straight line. I click on it. So I'll need this, but at an angle with this one. So once I move 
my line up you see it highlights blue in the line that i want so it is parallel to that line so i'll draw that up to there and i'll come the intersect tool i intersect this with this so i have something like that that means this edge can perfectly sit on this edge so that our pattern continues this way so i'll have to close this as well i come click on this then come i close it up to there i can delete these ones i delete these then i can come change material from here i drop down uh, let me create a new material i'll drop down here create new material default new material i right click i come to rename i'm going to rename it as my steel then i come to appearance library i click here i'm going to replace that and appearance library click on that then come to metal i drop down i look for steel steel is right here i click on it then i'm going to look for any steel i can use let me go with this stainless polished steel so i'll simply replace the current one i click on this i exit i close that then come apply then i say okay so i'll come to any elevation for instance let me pick the left elevation after ticking i pick the left elevation then i can simply come and move this upwards then i'll have to lock this i come and lock the length then also under here i will click on this then i lock it to that reference line so i can simply now load this into my project so we shall have and open a new project yeah for instance so i can open any project that i've been working on but let me open a new project i'll come to open i'll come to new i'm going to create a new project i'll come under browse then choose default metric click on default metric then i open i'll say okay this is our project then i'll come back to our cladding then i'll load it into the project i'll simply come load it into the project yeah but before that you make sure you have saved this metal sheet cladding family so i'll come to the save which is right here i'll click on it and i'm going to save it as my sheet cladding i'm going to save it on my desktop i'll click on desktop and i save it there so i'm going to come back to my project file i'll click on this yeah this is our project which we loaded into the family so i'll come under wall i'll click on wall and i'm going to come to the curtain wall so under curtain wall uh, for this case we are going to choose the exterior glazing and i'm going to show you why i'll click on it then when you do edit type you realize the exterior glazing doesn't have the millions as you can see the interior type there is none the border one type there is none then uh, border two type it is also none then the horizontal millions we also don't have them then also for the vertical grid layout yeah you can adjust you can adjust the spacing yeah let me assume we chose the first one which is the curtain wall once you click on it uh, you find you can't adjust the vertical grids you can't adjust the spacing and when you to choose the store front once you click on it it has its millions as you can see the interior type is already this uh, rectangular million and also the horizontal millions they're also there so we are going to go with the exterior glazing so i'll click on that 
under the vertical grid we are going to go with fixed distance so our distance is 200 remember that is the width we gave our sheet panel then uh, for the horizontal grid this one is not necessary then for the millions we can leave them as none so we shall come under construction and the curtain panel where there is none we are going to drop down and choose our panel which we named as sheet cladding so i'll click on that and i apply i say okay and after i come and have it drawn here escape this is our metal sheet cladding as you can see yeah for that line yeah the one we adjusted it has fit perfectly as you can see yeah this is the reason as to why i had to slant it prior to this one so that fits properly so once you come to 3d now come click on the 3d let me change this to fine then when i rotate around this is our metal sheet cladding let me change this to shaded uh, for this you're able to see the sheet cladding maybe we can add a wall behind it so i'll simply come to the wall tool i'll click on that uh, then drop down i can go with any wall let me go with this generic 300 uh, let me have it drawn uh, let me have it drawn here i and can adjust it i click on it i come and move it or i can simply align i'll come to the align tool it is under modify i click on modify this is the align tool i'll click on it then come click on this then i align this wall to that when i come to 3d i will be able to view the wall behind and also the metal sheet cladding in front of it yeah this is how you can achieve this in the shortest way possible than doing the walls then you have to cut you do a lot of extrusions yeah so thank you for watching this episode and i hope you enjoyed watch out for more interesting tutorials in revit and please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and to turn on your notification for the daily updates thank you stay blessed